All right. Well, I had an idea, or a series of ideas, explanations, or something. Um, hold it back. Spoiler. I want to talk about um, about the future and about predictability um, sort of a an emergence of predictability that's uh, I don't know if life is sort of an emergence of predictability but uh, or from life's perspective life might seem to be less predictable but from life's perspective on the rest of the universe we we are sort of arranging the future we are arranging things in ways that we are familiar with I would say more stable ways. Perhaps that's uh, that's what we're going for. <coughs> uh, let me uh, let me preface this by mentioning that uh, I woke up at around 5 p.m. today. Um, doesn't say the time on here uh, without me pressing something, I'm sure, but, uh, anyway, I think it's about 6 p.m. now, so, I, I mean, and when I say I woke up, I got up about an hour ago, got out of, out of bed an hour ago, um, but I was lying there for maybe 20 minutes, maybe, maybe an hour, maybe an hour and a half, um, just sort of going over a lot of things, um, you know, dream sort of turned into more rationalizing thoughts and, and uh, at a particular point in this sort of strange dream I uh, somebody asked me to make something and I guess I'll mention this because it's really sort of a neat neat idea that I it was really what I woke up thinking about um I don't, I don't know if it's possible, but it could be sort of an invention in the future that will happen through some discovery of something. But a, uh, a method for removing heat from a system such that it might be convenient to, say, put something in um, a large pool of water um, and then just freeze it you know, spread out from there, but to drop the temperature of it, I don't know, um, and I know we have refrigerators, it's kind of, kind of it, but not quite on this scale, I mean, maybe it exists out there, I just don't know about it, but, yeah, somebody, an old old friend in one of my dreams, he, uh, he wanted to impress a girl, and we were at a fountain, and, uh, he wanted me to freeze it, to, to to pull out of the vice that I could put in there that would freeze it solid so that they could skate on it in the middle of summer. And he thought that, that would be a cool way to impress her by saying, you know, I have this friend who's got this thing, I guess. I don't know. That's not really important. But from there, I started thinking about science and about um, computers and uh, information um, models, predictability, and, uh, and life, and, and the sort of functions that our molecules have on, you know, where, where they go from, from being, whatever you want to call them, non, part, non-living parts of, uh, non-living systems, you know, a certain level where things get 
uh, I don't know, complicated, probably not the right word, predictable enough that you can call it life. Um, controllable enough to call it life. Self-controlled. Uh, so, and, and I started to think about that, or what, you know, abiogenesis starting from there, biopoiesis, I like that better, but it doesn't seem like anybody's using that term anymore, so, um, yeah, I started thinking about life, you know, simple, simple forms of life, but also colonies, um, and conditions, ways that life sort of, uh, arranges things for itself, and, uh, I don't, I don't know if, if, if it's correct to look at it that way or not, but, uh, the, the, the way that, I mean, the environment and, and life are not separate, you know, we, we feed into our environment and our environment sort of feeds us, gives us the conditions, like right now, I mean, it's, it's a little chilly out here, there's uh, a, a quick snow, which I, I saw before I fell asleep, but uh, it seems to have melted a little bit now, but I'm, I'm glad to see that it's still around, as much as uh, you know, a lot of people don't like it being cold. I like, I like change. I like uh, things arranged differently. Or, um, un, unpleasant trees now and then. Things like that. You know, stir things up. Uh, let's go down this way. I had, I had all sorts of ideas for this video. I was going to go to like a dollar store and grab a big chunk of chalk. And go and use a picnic table or a brick wall downtown for a, for a um, chalkboard, but I don't want to forget that aspect of it, that's made me realize why, because I, I look at things like, from, from the beginning, I mean like, like the evolution of the universe, you know, the steady progression of things, the emergence of life, um, you know, things on, uh, these chemical levels, how things, uh, are arranging themselves, I think that, that would mean it's 6, so now it's 6 p.m., not that I'm fond of that, I can see the usefulness of a building that's telling you what time it is, of course, who, who is making those noises, I don't agree with, Sure, most of you know. <laughs> As I'm sure all of you know. Um, maybe not though. Maybe somebody will just see this and not know anything about anything I put up. Anyway. Um. Yeah. So. Things, as far as we know, they tend to be. Um. Sort of changing. You know, I don't want to use any particular model like photons um, turning into matter and, you know, just accumulating into bigger and bigger structures and particles and stuff. Um, I, I don't know what exactly is the explanation. I think a, a good scientist would be like that. But if I were sure of myself, I would say so. So. Anybody that uh, is putting out ideas and has a feels that they have a firm grasp on uh, the way things work, I think they should be saying so. And uh, humans will weed out the ideas that are good and keep the ideas 
or excuse me, weed out, weed out the ideas that are good. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, uh, you know, the ideas that are bad, but I thought I meant to say, um, you know, we'll keep, keep the good ones. That's not what I wanted to talk about, though. What I want to talk about is this, and, and I'm starting to lose it, don't lose it, but I try to put myself back in the, you know, laying in bed state and the way that, you know, uh, ideas tend to feel really good when you're first having them waking up. But uh, now that I'm out and experiencing all this stuff, eh, I'm a bit distracted. So, uh, let's see. Emergence, really, and uh, predictability. Those are some of the, the emergence of predictability, the emergence of, of control, and also into the future, like foreseeability. That's the important thing. Predictability, foreseeability. Because, I mean, that's that was one of the sort of uh, mind um, epiphanies, you might call it, whatever. Sort of, uh, is that everything that we do is putting things into place because we expect it to be more predictable. Um, I don't know, maybe, maybe somebody can come up with something that contradicts that. Um, you know, I, but, but, yeah, everything, um, that I can think of, like, I don't know, let's, let's go for some things that I, I see around me. The, the basketball hoops here, um, now people that are alive know that these are here. They were put here, and people know that they're here. So now people, if they get the urge, you know, to uh, play basketball, they know where there are hoops. So that's that sort of predictability. Um, think uh, cars, cars and gas stations and travel, travel, maps. You, you know, you know, what's over the horizon. You know that, you know, there's a, most places, at least here in this, uh, this part of the world, 